Hello water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you for being with me here today. We are going to be looking at who is your future lover. So who's coming towards you for a relationship, for a romantic connection. So we'll see what the cards can reveal um, for you. I have laid out some cards here already. Uh, before I begin, I just wanted to say if anyone out there was after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me. You'll find the email below in the show more section. Feel free to sign up for membership on the channel via the join button um, on the homepage of my channel to get access to bonus readings and extended versions for each month. Um, there's some great content coming out uh, for members, so please feel free to sign up. Otherwise, if you like this content, drop a like. That would be very much appreciated. Um, feel free to subscribe and join the YouTube family as well. So. I've laid out some cards here for you, water signs, um, and the overall energy, the way this person is presenting themselves is the hermit. So this is a strong Virgo that's coming up um, around you here. Now the hermit can represent someone who is currently available, um, and it's going to be someone who is possibly single for some time. I feel like this person has been own, on their own for a long time or there is a highly independent energy about this person. So they've either been single for a long time. Um, I feel like they could be older. There could be quite an age gap between you and this person. The Hermit actually came up twice here for you, interestingly. So you really have double Virgo energy. Um, but look, it is the number nine which represents the Virgo. So I'm wondering if some of you will be ending a relationship or ending some sort of chapter in your life um, and then welcoming in uh, a new chapter here. It could also be more on their end. So they might be ending um, a work thing, a relationship, a living situation, and then they're ready for something new. And that's when the two of you um, are going to meet here. But straight away, this person's a little bit different. So they're not your usual type of person. They have some qualities or some features that make them very unique. So it's almost like finding your unicorn here, water signs. I think this is very special and you'll be very happy with the way things go. Um, but there's a maturity um, that's coming with this person and a little bit of mystery. So I feel like they have an air of mystery around them. Now, the six of swords next to them can indicate that this person is a bit of a nomad. So... You know, there's a passion for travel, wanderlust. Um, they've relocated. They're an expat. They like to move around a lot. They're constantly on the move. It could also be someone who has um, had a separation and has had a child from a previous relationship here as well. Um, but it could be someone who works in like imports, exports, or in the tourism industry. Um, so I do feel like this is a person who likes to be on the move. They don't like to be in the one place for too long. It's almost like they've got to get out there and see the world. So they, they sort of have an itch to travel here, but there could be like a foreign link. You may, re, uh, you may connect on like an app. Um, you may be on travels or they may be on travels and you guys might meet on a, in a foreign city, for example. So travel um, and romance are coming up next to this person person here. The Three of Swords is coming up. So for some of you, um, it's like this person may be still attached to an ex or their past somehow. They may also have been cheated on or done some cheating. Three of Swords is like deception. Okay, so it's anything that's sort of sneaky behavior, deceptive behavior. Um, so they may have had that happen to them or they may have been naughty and done that themselves. Um, but I feel like it could also be like a love triangle. So you might notice when you hook up with this person or when you connect with them, they may talk about their ex a lot or they may have recently come out of a relationship or they're still going through a legal, uh, a divorce or a separation of some kind. They still will carry some sort of baggage here with them. I mean, yes, you'll have to be patient and give this person a chance to prove their love and, and you know, they'll show you the signs if they're truly ready for a commitment. Because you have that two of cups, which has come up, which uh, can very well indicate that this is a twin flame soulmate connection. It's also very strong Leo energy. So Leo has come up twice. So for a lot of you, there's definitely a Leo female or male out there who's destined to be your person. Um, it would indicate a face-to-face -face meeting. And I'm also seeing that this person um, is wanting a love relationship. There's something about an engagement. So the two of you might get engaged very quickly. You sort of, you know, might elope. You might sort of run away and just be head over heels for one another um, and want to do that together. Um, but I also feel like they are able to offer you a committed and loyal relationship. Um, for some of you, just be careful though. It could be that this person's a bit of a player and they may have someone else on the side here that they're still not over. So you might have to, um, might have to check that out. But I feel for the most part, 
um, this person is more of a relationship person rather than a person that sort of like just likes to sleep around or likes to hook up. Probably not too big on the hookup culture. They tend to be a little bit more serious, um, but you're going to be very attracted because they're coming up as um, the empress. So this person has features and qualities that you absolutely love. Like if there's a certain feature, like you like blue eyes or you like dark features or, you know, something that you admire or that just really gets you going, this person is going to have, and you won't be able to like keep your eyes or your hands off of them. Um, so this is really delicious. As the Empress, again, pregnancy, sexuality, really strong sexual chemistry between the both of you. Um, you'll enjoy being intimate with this person very much so. Uh, and I feel like also with the Empress, they have a motherly energy. So they're going to be really caring. They're going to look after you. They'll want to cook for you, pack your lunch, iron your shirts, um, get you flowers, be the homemaker, be the, be the breadwinner. The Empress is, she likes to look after things. So this is someone who's really going to love looking after you and you are going to absolutely love this water signs. The emotional love you're going to get from this person is unprecedented. Like you possibly never even felt it before with the Empress. And in a way they might mother you, but you're going to like it because you know, they'll, ch they'll check you, uh, they'll check up on you. They'll bring you lunch at work. Uh, they'll remember that packet of food that you like and, and get it for you so there's a thoughtfulness here to them but they're also very attractive so like you marry that two together and it's like you know you found someone super super special here bit of a disclaimer here eight of swords is coming up in their reading as well so i reckon they may be a little bit anxious um eight of swords is someone who sort of does make up scenarios in their mind sometimes, or it's someone who just maybe has been hurt before and they may be scared that you might do the same thing. So they may display at times some behavior that almost comes across as self-sabotaging, or they may not know how to handle themselves in certain situation. And you know, when we get anxious, it happens, right? We, we lose self-control or we're scared someone's gonna leave us or abandon us or hurt us. And sometimes we can act irrationally um, so you may notice little bits and pieces um, of this sort of anxious tendency within this person. Um, I also feel like with the Eight of Swords, they could go into things blindly. So they could be naive and very trusting. So they might not have their walls up all the way. Uh, they might sort of, how do I say this? Um, they might be more trusting and, and willing to take a chance on love. Um, Again, it wouldn't surprise me, especially if they've been hurt before. It could be like they have a really big heart. They have a lot of love to give. Um, they mean well, but I think maybe sometimes the way they come across at times, it's like they come across as anxious and maybe they've been abandoned. Maybe they've been really hurt. Maybe they've done the hurting before and they know they know how it's done. Um, and for them to get played, it's like, you know, it's not on. So they, they get scared. Um, and it's not that maybe they don't trust you. They might not trust themselves. So look out for that one there. Um, she's got a blindfold on. So this person like may have glasses or like vision problems. Um, so they may wear glasses. They may be prone to migraines if, the, if there's too many bright lights type thing. It could be something with their vision, but that's more of a mental card than anything else. Uh, the next card we have is the strength card. So again, this Leo energy, this person's got a strong personality, like they're mysterious, I, but I do think like they're alpha. Okay. So they may, they're, they're more independent here. They hang out alone. They don't need reassurance and social interactions from all these bunch of friends. And they're probably like not all over um, social media because they don't need that validation. They're secure in themselves. They know they're attractive. They know they have a, a, a being personality. They know that they've got it going on. So the, um, the strength card points to someone who is quite, um, quite resilient. They might have even been through a lot, especially if they're carrying pain with that three of swords. So I reckon they've got some history here um, that they've been through something. Uh, okay, so they take initiative. They could be in a leadership position at work. So they might be like a manager, a boss lady, um, an entrepreneur. They could be someone who is really ambitious. Um, it's like they've got a leadership quality to them. So they could be like an oldest sibling, an elder sibling. Um, they could be someone who, again, they're a caretaker. They like to look after people. They like to look after tasks. And I'm not surprised to see that they're, they sort of fall into that strength role. Uh, so, you know, that's not surprising. Look, they could be really big on like fitness as well. 
You know, they may be like gym junkie, they could love to work out, they could be very athletic. Strength can speak of like strength of mind, strength of body, strength of soul. So I feel like they do something or they have like a habit, um, they do something that keeps them busy uh, and it keeps them motivated. So it, it works for them, right? This is something that works for this person. But strong personality, strong energy, they've got a strong presence. So it's like, as soon as they step out, people look at them. They're charming, they're engaging, um, you know, and because they're not like the typical person that you see, like they're not the typical guy or gal, that's why they're coming across as so rare. It's because not everyone has had them. Um, you know, there's, there's a classiness maybe to this person here as well. Eight of Cups again. So uh, this is the moon here, so Cancer, this may be more for you, or there may be a destined Cancer, um, or they ha may have Cancer in their chart, like a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus with that moon card. Um, the moon can be like they have psychic ability, so maybe they're a clairvoyant, uh, maybe they're just an empath, they're very caring, they're very emotional. Uh, also with the moon, it can speak of someone who is um, mysterious, um, can tap into their subconscious here. But it can also be something from the past. So for some of you, this person may be an ex, okay? It may be someone that you were emotionally attached to once upon a time. Maybe it was decades ago. Maybe it was a few days ago. But there may be some sort of emotional history between the both of you. Um, and it might not even be a relationship. Maybe you, you had a fling and then you end up walking away. The Eight of Cups can indicate like walking away from a situation because it didn't work for some reason or something was missing or lacking. So for some of you, it's like you've been with this person you know, you tried, maybe it didn't go as well, or something was missing, you moved on. It could be that they're very much back again, because the moon can display that there is emotional history here. Eight of Cups, also travel, movement, walking away, soul searching. I feel like this person, you might be connecting on travels. So you may be traveling, they may be traveling, sort of expat situation here. Um, it could be like an online connection, you meet, but you live in different cities. You know, people make it work. Long distance isn't easy, um, but I think if you're invested enough and you love the person, you'll, you'll commit um, and vice versa. They'll, they'll show you that commitment here as well. Um, but yeah, they could work imports, exports. They move around a lot, so they may have a mobile business. They could work for like an online conglomerate. So um, they could even work for like a social media website. So they're sort of like exposed or they've been exposed, like worldly. They know different languages or they know different cultures or they know history or um, geography. They're good at sort of this worldly kind of um, knowledge. The next card over is the Ace of Wands. So for some of you, it is someone brand new and you are yet to meet them. So that's exciting. That's That could be part of the mystery uh, that's coming up, water signs. Now, strong phallic symbol here. So for a lot of you, I'm thinking that you hook up physically and then more and more happens or it's like instant physical attraction like the minute you see them you start undressing them with your eyes kind of stuff okay this is you know this is heavy stuff like um but it works because it's going to be more than just attraction there's going to be love and compatibility here um okay ace of wands is like this is going to be like a very physical relationship so um don't be surprised if you're tired all the time or like this person just wants you all the time because there's a strong physical energy, that phallic symbol here. It is a symbol of like spirit and God handing you this connection, but also like action is required. So it makes me feel like this, this person is willing to offer you a relationship where there's a lot of action. It's like no two days are ever the same. This person keeps you on, on, on your toes. You may not necessarily know what mood they're going to be in next. Um, or it's just adventure. You know, they could be like a huge adrenaline junkie and drag you along to all these activities. It's going to get you out of your comfort zone here, um, water signs. Especially if this is fire energy. Because you do have strong fire, especially Leo. So, you know, the fire sign might be really powerful for you. Because it could push you out of your comfort zone, um, where you're more emotional, they're more about action. Um, and it works as there's, there's compatibility here. But this can be about a relocation here as well. So for some of you, if this is like someone who lives further away, I see that a lot of you might be relocating to be with this person. Um, you might be changing jobs to be with them. Um, the both of you might move to a different country to be together or a different city. It's like movement is required for this connection to work um, or for this relationship to go the distance. Not in, not in all cases, but in some, it could be.
could also be that they're very active, like an active energy. They're not really shy or reserved. They probably like do a lot during the day. Um, maybe they're just high on energy, like they're high on life. They've got a very like buzzed personality. Could be that as well. Okay, let's toss out the next card, Four of Pentacles. Again, I feel like they this person is very picky with the people they spend their time with. So I think they've probably like lost some friends or they've they've been through life to, enough to know who's worth their time and who's not. Four of Pentacles is they're picky. They're picky and they're selective. So they've got high standards maybe. Um could also be that they're in a, in the corporate realm, so they work with money or finance um, or like these big companies. This person may not be very spendy, so they might not be very flashy. Like they could be very budget conscious. Um, they like to count their money. Not that they're not, like not that they're frugal, but it's like um, they like their money where they can see it. Okay, they're not like an overly big spender. Yes, they have an adventurous side, but it's more in moderation with this person. They're not all about oh, let's have a good time. Um, it's more like they can be sensible in that regard. Um, with the Four of Pentacles. They are looking to settle. I do feel like they are ready for that um, and they possibly will want that here with you. Um, they could be clingy. Okay, Four of Pentacles is clingy. So once they meet you, they'll want to keep you. They'll want to share you. They'll like show you off to the world, let everyone know you are in a relationship together. I mean, that's just who they are. It's possibly in their nature. Um, but they might be possessive because Leo is coming up. So Leo energy is very jealous and very possessive, especially if they're a Leo. Um, Leos can be very possessive, okay? They, they, you know, can have like explosive bouts of possessiveness or jealousy. Um, not all, but it's territorial, okay? They, they, they may have a territorial nature. And then you have Virgo again. So you have the Hermit twice. It's got to mean something here. Um, and you have a lot of eights around this person. This is a really good sign. Uh, so, okay, um, the Hermit. It could be older. Okay, the Hermit is that older figure. Again, they're non-conventional, so they don't, go, they don't go with the flow. What the crowd does, what the majority does, they're in, they're in the minority. So... It's not like there's a trend, everyone's doing it, whether it's cool or not. You know, this person doesn't do that. They live by their own rules, their own trends. That's what makes them unique. And that's what makes people admire them because they're not like everyone else. Um, you know, maybe they don't need to get tattoos or they don't need to get 100,000 followers or on their social media or, you know, they don't need to follow the fashion trends. It's like their style is their style. It makes them who they are. Um, and I feel like that's reflected in them because the hermit is like non-conventional. Um, they may have a quiet side to them uh, as well. Uh, but also this is protect, uh, like protective energy. So they could be, again, protective over you and protective over your relationship, especially if it becomes really important to them. They could also have been through some dark times, okay? So, you know, everyone has secrets and everyone has things that they've gone through in their life. And, you know, maybe they've done it tough. They've been through some things when they were young or um, they've seen some things in their life. You know, um, it may take them a while to open up and, and share that with you. But eventually, I think, you know, water signs, you have this wonderful ability to give people love and care and support and it's going to make them feel really emotionally safe with you. Enough to like want to open up and, and tell you about what this is. Whatever it is that's happened with them. Um, but I'm going to wrap it up there. Okay, so really lovely reading, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It does mean a lot. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this reading and are excited. Um, I'm excited for you to see who comes in, who you're meeting, and who you could potentially be um, having this relationship with. Um, just a gentle reminder, if you were after a private reading, please feel free to reach out directly via email. I am currently accepting those. If you have enjoyed this content, don't forget to drop a like on there. Um, and also feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button to get updates for readings for your sign and your element and also bonus readings. 
Um, otherwise, thank you again, Water Signs. It really does mean a lot. So lots of love, um, all the best, and we shall be in touch again very soon. So thank you, everyone, and bye for now.